Hey everybody, I'm King 5 meteorologist Leah Pizzetti and I've had a lot of people asking questions about what exactly has led to this terrible situation going on in Southern California. I myself have spent a majority of my career forecasting in California, so something that myself and anyone who's lived, especially down in the Southwest knows, is a Santa Ana wind event. That is exactly what we're seeing right now. They're most common in the fall, so to be completely honest with you, to see this in January is very rare. Uh, but we're going to talk a little bit about what I think is leading up to this terrible situation in just a moment. But first, let's talk about what Santa Ana's are. Basically, what we see is wind that flows from east to west. When we have wind flowing the opposite direction, when it's coming in off the water, it's cool, it's fresh, it's moist, and it can be really nice. But when we see the opposite, which is what we're seeing right now, it's warm and it's dry and it's strong. And so that is one of the, the things that's impacting this current condition right now. I want to take a step back and talk about rain in the last really year and a half in the LA area. So I pulled data from LAX. I want to point out average rainfall for the year in LA is just shy of 12 inches. So the entire year they typically see about 12 inches of rain. Rain. In 2023, it was an incredibly wet year. We saw more than double that, close to 26 inches of rain in one year. Then we started 2024. From January 1st to May 31st, we saw more than the annual rainfall, so close to 16 inches of rain. Then come June 1st, basically nothing. Three hundredths of an inch of rain is all we have seen for, for basically the end of 2024. And so far in 2025, no rain in the gauge as well. So when I look at this, this is something I actually wrote about when I was working on my master's in meteorology. When I look at this data, what I see here is an incredibly wet year and a half. Vegetation grows. Think of it like watering your garden, right? Everything will grow. And then when we get this extended extended dry period, everything dries out. We have not had any relief out there. So because conditions are so dry in this region right now, when you get these Santa Ana's that kick in, it is truly a recipe for disaster. I want to point out that as of Saturday evening, as we look forward into the upcoming week, we already have red flag warnings that have been issued for parts of Southern California, around Los Angeles and then north of LA, and then also around Orange County. We have these red fl flag warnings that have been issued. For these areas, gusts will be in the 50 to 60 mile per hour range with isolated gusts getting up even close to 70 miles per hour. We have that low humidity thanks to that warm dry air that's moving in from the east. So through Wednesday evening, we're going to keep an eye on these alerts. But what I'm thinking as we look forward is it's going to be very hard for our firefighters to continue to uh, get a grip of these fires be because conditions are just so bad out there right now.